The House of Representatives Committee on Appropriation had an audience today at the National Assembly for very important MDAs to explain their budget projections and expectations for the year 2024. Chairman of the committee, Honorable Abubakar Bichi, before the grilling of the heads of the NDAs present on day two of the ongoing exercise. 27 trillion may look very big, but um, considered our, you know, inflation, exchange rate and all of that, we believe that um, we really have to look into it and to support Mr. President to actualize his um, eight-point agenda. No matter how Mr. President wants to um, actualize his agenda, he needs some funds, he needs some money. And the only way for him to get um, money is through um, all these GOEs and to see how we can interact with them, how we can have more funding to support Mr. President to actualize his dreams. That's the reason why we said, let's call all the GOEs and the Minister of Finance to see how we can move on, how we can get more revenues to support Mr. President to actualize his um, dreams for Nigeria. We believe that this, the budget was perfect, brilliant budget, but of course without funding, it's, um, it's going to be a serious problem. The Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Edu threw more light on the issues around government borrowing plans and constraints on the 2024 budget, amongst others. Look at the budget. It even indicates that we are looking to equity, we are looking to privatization, even though the estimates for, for revenue from there are relatively modest. But it's the direction of travel and intention that is important. So we'll be looking to get more revenue from across the board of government business, which means the government-owned enterprises, the parastatals, um, as well as looking to private sector investment. The committee at this point proceeded to pose questions on the expected budget projections from the various MDAs and expectations on how to achieve it. How do you find a balance so that Nigerians don't get overtaxed, one? Secondly, so that small businesses don't crumble in the process of beefing up taxation? And then, doesn't it also contradict the government's interest in foreign direct investment? Won't that rather scare away uh, foreign investment when they hear that we are raising taxation? So is there any way we are going to find a balance? That's number one. Then the second one is, what, as Minister of Finance, what are we doing seriously to reduce the cost of running government? In their responses, all the MDAs assured that they will do everything possible to ensure increase in their 2024 revenue generation. In terms of performance, as at uh, the as at end of November, or as, should I just say last week, Friday, we have done two trillion nine hundred and fifty-nine billion. 800 and 858 million naira. Uh, in terms of the percentage of the total that we are targeting for 2023, this amounts to about 80, 81 percent of our projected revenue. Uh, we still have some few days in 2023. We are a little bit optimistic that we would be able to uh, give the target a very good shot. An analysis of our uh, performance in 2023 shows that we had a very, very slow start to the year. And uh, we know that there were a number of factors that were responsible for the slow performance in the year. But this has, things have redoubled a little bit uh, from the second quarter, from the third quarter of the year. And uh, we've moved from an average of about 200 billion per month in the first half of the year to something in the region of 350 billion 
per month in the second half of the year. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.